What's up guys, Sam Man back and we are continuing the Flash reviews from the Flash movie coming out in just a couple months. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new Spin Masters. This is Batman, Ben Affleck's Batman, the Flash, and the Bat Cycle. So this is the only way you can get this Bat Cycle. I don't know if this is the only way you can get Affleck Batman, but for sure the Bat Cycle. I actually picked this up from Target. I was really surprised to find this. Guys, check out the toy hunting videos. It's all on there. So you got the open package here. I really wanna see if Affleck can really sit on the bike just how he's, you know, posed right there on the uh, in the picture, and then right here on the side just reads DC. Over here on the back, you have the Flash running with Batman again. I really want to see if he's seated like that, or if you can actually sit him like that. So let's open this up. Let's see if this is a pickup or a pass, and we're gonna do a comparison with this version of the Flash, which came with the the Batwing that I reviewed several weeks ago. So let's open this up, guys. Okay, guys. So we are gonna take a look at the figures that come in this set. So here is the Flash. This is what comes in the the pack right here, and then this is the one that came in with the Batwing. So these are basically, yep, they're the same exact figures, no difference in them. So right here, again, I've mentioned this before, Spin Masters did a much better job than McFarlane did with their likenesses. What is this you got in your butt, Barry? All right, so as far as articulation goes, rotation in the head, arms have a bend, also have a swivel. Upper arm has a swivel too. The hands, do they rotate? No, he does have no waist articulation. Uh, legs go forward and back and a bend at the knee. So these little mini figures that Spin Masters does is amazing. I think they do a great job. So there's the flash. And then we have now Affleck Batman. Let's look at the likeness, guys. Well, it doesn't look 100% like Affleck, but you know what? They did a better job than what Spin Masters did. I mean, than what McFarlane did. And you can't deny that because McFarlane's version doesn't even look anything like like Affleck, he does not, but they did a great job right here in the likeness. I mean, they, they pretty much nailed it down as best as Spin Masters could. Now the suit here, again, it's not blue and gray like the trailer shows. And the same thing happened with McFarland's. Now the Funko Pops, they are promoting their figures with the blue and the gray accents, but oh my God, what do you have here too? Another, what do you, what you guys got in here? What are you guys doing here? So looking at the outfit, you can see the sculpting is done very nice. Again, just for these little mini figures, you can see there, this, he's wearing the outer armor and underneath that is his suit. You got his gauntlets, you got a cloth cape. The cowl looks really good. And then you have his boots and he does have some like harnesses attached to the legs. So again, I'm curious to see how this Affleck figure looks in action in the film. And then right here we have him standing next to or besides the Keaton figure. So both of them look great. Obviously Affleck is a little bit more beefier. And now we have the Bat Cycle. And again, this is honestly really nice. He, look at this. So he's got two wheels in the front, right? Look at this. They both move separately. How cool is that? The back ones too. Um, they don't turn or anything. You got the handles here and the brakes. And then you can see the really, really nice sculpting for this for just a little toy. Now this figure, this whole set here is gonna cost you $21. That is what it costs. You have the uh, weapons right here on the front side. But I think that's honestly awesome that they have both of these rotating differently and not together. That's a nice little touch. So what I'm gonna try to do is see if we can get Affleck on here. All right, so here he is on the bat cycle. So I can't get him to look how he looks in the in the promo image. I don't think there's a way you can do it. I mean, maybe you have to rotate the arms a little bit more, the legs. I mean, either way, he still sits on it, but I can't get him to look up. That's the that's the problem. He doesn't look up, but he stays on there perfectly fine. Now, another cool thing about the bat cycle, it doesn't look like it, but it stands perfectly fine on its own. I don't know why his cape keeps on doing that. It keeps on going like a certain angle, it's going to a certain angle. But look at this, see? It'll, well, let me see. Yeah, it'll ride. It'll, you can see it won't tip over, depending, I guess, on how you, how you, how hard, whoa, no! Dude, he almost fell. I guess depending on how hard you really push it, but he does, it does stay on, it does stand perfectly fine on its own. It's a great looking vehicle and figure. And then we have the flash that comes with it, so. That's the set, guys. Again, I was hoping that he would look, he would sit on this a little bit better to where he's looking up, and I cannot get him to do that. But I still think 
it is a great looking vehicle and a great set. And for anybody who wants to collect the Flash figures or if you want to get these to your kids, they're definitely going to love this. They're going to eat this up. There's a lot of cool little stuff that they're doing for the Flash movie. A lot of merch, a lot of toys that are coming out. I cannot wait to get the Batmobile. That's the one I'm really looking forward to from Spin Master. So let me know, guys, what you guys think. Is it a pickup? Is it a pass? And uh, thumbs up the video. Subscribe. Stay tuned for more Flash reviews. We'll see you guys soon. Later.